This morning we're going to have a look at a large rainwater harvesting system from EcoTanks, showing you how to take your home off the grid and be more water secure. For this home with a garden, koi pond and swimming pool to consider, we've chosen a 50,000 litre EcoTank installation. As a general rule of thumb, for every millimetre of rain which falls on one square metre of your roof, you'll be able to harvest one litre of rainwater. So we want to start with a clean roof when we're harvesting rainwater and uh, the water goes from the roof into the gutter obviously and a clean gutter is your next most important thing. So to start off with a quick handy tip on how to clean your gutter. So your gutter outlet connects to the downpipe and the downpipe will go through your various filtration before it goes down to the water tanks. So as a quick start we take a piece of uh, clear tubing, wrap it around the end of the downpipe with a conventional elastic band and take a hose pipe and flush the gutter out just to clean the gutter for starters. We use a clear piece of tubing so we can see all the debris and the particles coming through and we can see when the water runs clear. Let's have a look at the rest of the system. Once your gutters are clean, it comes through a leaf catcher. Any other leaves that blow in will be easily blown off the sieve. Down the pipe into a first flush diverter which will allow any larger particles or sand to settle then the water flows on down towards the water tanks. So in this installation we've used a 110 millimeter pipe to take the water from the gutters down to the tanks at the bottom of the garden at a lower level. So here we have five 10,000 litre olive coloured eco super tanks. It's the premium tank offered by eco tanks, a triple layered tank. The tanks are all interconnected with individual 50 millimeter shuttle valves for cleaning and for maintenance. An Eco Super Tank has three layers. The external layer of the tank to protect the tank from the UV rays of the sun. A foamed structural layer making the tank extra strong, helping to insulate the tank, keeping your stored water cooler and blocking out sunlight to prevent algal growth in your tank. And a white internal bactericidal layer helps you see how clean your tank is as well as keeps your water clean and pure. So the gravity feed of the rainwater from the house completes its journey to the tank via the one 10 mil pipe at the bottom of the garden. So with the water now in the tank, we need to find a way to get it back to the house with a bit of pressure. For that, we use a 0.75 kilowatt pump in this instance, piped with some 20 mil polycarp piping. And the pump with its pressure switch are housed inside this eco pump cover, the large one, to keep it out of the weather. So with the water now in our eco tanks, we want to make sure that nothing else gets in and makes the water impure. The sieved water tank outlet at the top of the tank, which is standard on all eco tanks, is the way we do that. The uh, water level gauge at the top is a handy way to see how full your tank is with water at any one time. So with the installation complete, we can come back up to the house, open our feed from the water tanks, shut off the municipal supply, and effectively, we're off the grid. I hope you found the installation interesting and the handy tips of some value. For more information on the EcoTanks range, visit our website at ecotanks.co.za.